Welcome back everybody. Today iOS 18.1 beta 2 was released. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro or an iPhone 15 Pro Max, you can install this beta version. Also, download size for my iPhone 15 Pro was 1.4 gigabytes and the build number is 22B5023E. Also, we are getting a modem update from 2.15.01 up to 2.16.00, which will give us improved connectivity. And some of you might have noticed whenever you were sending photos via RCS, you were getting an error that it wasn't sent and you would have to send via SMS. So it looks like this got fixed. I was sending some photos out earlier and yes, things were working out really well. Also in this beta version, you were going to notice an updated Siri animation. Check that out. That is more pronounced. It looks a lot better. Watch, I'll do it again. Oops. <laughs> Here we go. We'll do it again. We got us a more pronounced, really awesome, more intense looking Siri animation there. All right. All right. Next up. And one thing I wanted to say real quick. Siri is a little smarter in this iOS 18.1 beta, but it's the same that we had in the beta one. So beta one and beta two, this is basically... Just a little smarter version of Siri. We have, we still have yet to get Siri 2.0, and hopefully that is coming in September. All right. So next up, I wanted to show you something in Safari. We now have what's called the distracted item. So check this out. See that little ad thing down there? Tap on that, and you can hide distracting items, report distraction control issue. All right. That's pretty cool right there. So. Yes. All right. Next up, we have some new features inside of the control center. I'll show you that real quick. It's called, we have a new capture set, new capture section. So press hold. Now we're going to tap over here and we're going to come over here and you're going to see that right there. So in the iOS 18.1 beta one, we did not have that. So here in beta two, there it is. So that is pretty, that is pretty nice. All right. Next up. The lock screen looks similar on this beta right here. So really nothing, nothing new to really report there. Also, I've installed this a couple of, a uh, couple of hours ago and it seems to be running all right. And this is as far as the performance goes, the performance is good. Let's come over here to edit. We have the option to edit pages. We'll come over here. Now you saw that little stutter right there. Did y'all catch that? Let's see if it does it again. Edit pages. All right. Tap right that. Ah, all right. So we got some frame rates being dropped right there. So I might have to report that. So we'll just tap like this. Also, since we're doing the customization, I'll show you something a little different with the customization. So I'm going to press and hold. I noticed this a second ago. Let's come over here to customize. For some reason, they moved the light over the, they moved the automatic over here and then they put the light over here. I'm not really sure why they did that. But, I mean, they did what they did, right? But it's still, everything still works smooth. Everything is still good. All right. So press hold, edit, customize, come over here, dark, small. All right. Everything seems to be working well. And the performance on this iOS 18.1 beta 2 seems good. So there's nothing going on there. But like I said, you'll notice that frame rate. There was like some frame rate drops uh, when I was over there editing the pages, stuff like that. So, all right. So question of the day, should you install this iOS 18 beta 2? I'm going to say yes, because I've been using iOS 18.1, the first beta, and it didn't skip a beat. I'm still doing everything that I was doing before when I was running the, the public, the public uh, software. I didn't have any issues. So on this beta software right here, I'm having no issues at all. My banking's working. Everything is working as always. Uh, I rely heavily on my iPhone, so it's not a big deal. But expect some, you know, expect a few bugs, all right? Nothing, nothing too crazy, all right? Now, iOS 18.1 Beta 3 should be coming in about a week and a half, but I'm expecting it on, it should arrive on the 26th of this month. So if you're running this beta version right here, uh, yeah, that's what that's what you can expect. All right. So so far, everything's been good, though. This uh, this this developer beta has been really, really nice. And that's what this is. iOS 18.1 developer beta, too. That's the correct verbiage right there. But uh, 
Now, as far as this uh, this version right here, this beta two, if I find any additional features, I will let you know. And you know, just the best way to do it is just poke around, look around, and uh, you know that's what you do whenever you're doing these developer, whenever you're on these developer uh, updates. That's just what you do. You just tap on things, and you just find out well, you know, what, everything that could possibly be there. So, uh, like the last time I actually discovered that you could create some like that and then if you don't want that there anymore you just come over here and you put it back and then it goes back to the what it was so i discovered that on accident on the first beta but anyway if you guys have any special requests let me know if you guys have any questions i really enjoy making special request videos for you all i enjoy teaching people how to use their phones and like i said these these phones can be a bit of a puzzle at times but whenever you dig around and you find these really useful features it's completely amazing and it just makes your phones and our phones that much better all right everybody take care